everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing? I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. Just wanna to start with a little apology because we've got my niece outside doing some mowing. So um, if you hear that, my apologies. Today in this video, I just wanna very quickly address something that I think really needs to be spoken about. Now I have a lot of videos on YouTube. I mean, four or five or 600 videos. I don't even know how many videos I have, but I've done a lot of talking on spiritual subjects. Things like manifestation, things like the divine nature, things like angels and angel communication, things like mediumship and intuitive or psychic abilities. For those of you who have been following me for any length of time, you know that that is my jam. I love to teach on these things. And because I have so many videos, I get a ton of comments. And today I wanted to talk to some of the people leaving comments on a certain subject. And that's the subject of psychic abilities and mediumship, not being in the Bible, not being something that God wants us to do. And then calling me a charlatan or calling me <laughs> terrible, terrible names, which are so rude. I, I never get why Christians or spiritual people feel it's okay to swear at somebody or tell them that they're not a child of God and all. It's just doesn't make any sense, but that's okay. Believe me, I've been doing this for long enough that those comments don't bother me. What I really do is I look for the theme, like what are people really saying? And what are people really troubled about? And what I think they're troubled about is this idea that Christians can actually be psychic or Christians can actually have spiritually evidential lives. They can be mediums. They can tell the future. They can talk to angels. They can channel. They can be divinely inspired. For some reason, Christians think that that is the devil's work. And in this video, I'm here to tell you that nothing could be farther from the truth. It's not the devil's work. It's God's work. It's creator energy living and breathing through you. The closer you get to God in vibration, in alignment, in understanding, the more you'll see these miracles and evidences begin to populate your life. That's just the way that it works. Jesus told us this. Seek first the kingdom of heaven and all these things will be added unto you. Not just abundance and not just wellness and not just success, but also intuitive abilities, understanding, perception. All of this is added unto you. In fact, we should look to Jesus to understand just how mediumistic and psychic we actually can be. Because if Jesus did it, that means we can do it too. And I'll tell you why we have that birthright and that entitlement. For those of you who are curious about your own intuition, your own abilities, what's possible for you in this life, let me just point your interest to Jesus. Did you know Jesus was a medium? It's absolutely true. And he was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias, who is Elijah, talking with him, him being Jesus. The disciples in the scripture are actually perceiving Jesus talking to long dead men, Moses and Elijah. Jesus here in this scripture is having a mediumistic experience, and there's nothing wrong with it. In fact, it's beautiful, and he was in his holy raiment. Mediumship. Jesus. But that's not all. Let's have a look at this. After Jesus had said this, he called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The man who had been dead came out with his hands and feet bound in strips of linen and his face wrapped in a headcloth. Unwrap him and let him go, Jesus told them. Here what we're seeing is Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. But before Lazarus was raised from the dead, Jesus had to talk to his spirit. Jesus had to talk to a dead person. Jesus was demonstrating mediumship right here in this scripture. But that's not all that Jesus did. Jesus also communed with angels. Then the devil left him and angels came and attended him. Here Jesus is out in the desert and he's just been tempted by the devil. And finally he said, devil, get out of here. And when the devil left, the angels came and attended him, inspired him, talked with him, spent time with him. Jesus rendezvoused with angels. Moving on, Jesus was a psychic. He told the future. He was precognitive. How do we know this? How about this? Truly I tell you, Jesus answered, this very night before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. Jesus was telling Peter, you're going to deny me. 
and it's going to happen right after this rooster crows three times and the very next day that's exactly what happened he told the future in a psychic way and also we see jesus predicting the destruction of the temple he said as for these things which you are looking at the days will come in which there will not be left one stone upon another which will not be torn down this happened many years later the first prediction happened the next day this prediction happened decades later but these are predictions these are psychic intuitive perceptions coming straight from jesus and the reason i'm showing this to you is because if jesus did it and he did so many things these are just this is a small sampling of things that jesus did he healed people he cast out demons or bad energies he healed spaces. He raised the dead. He turned the water into wine. So many miracles. He levitated, walked on water. Jesus was a miracle worker. And if he did it, we get to do it too. He told us that himself. Truly, truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I'm doing. He will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. Here Jesus is saying, I'm about to pass, but if you believe in me and what I've demonstrated to you, what I have modeled for you, the divine nature, kingdom of heaven is within, whoever believes in me will do the works that I'm doing. In fact, you'll do even greater things than these works. That's you. That's me. And let me remind you, when Jesus taught us how to pray, when Jesus gave us the Lord's Prayer, he opened it by saying, our Father who art in heaven heaven he didn't say my father my dad and you bastard children you guys go over there he said our father we are all children of god we are all heirs to source energy jesus was a great teacher jesus indeed was an avatar but most of all jesus was a representation of all that is possible in us jesus models who it is that we can be so for those of you who are in fear and who don't trust, you don't trust what is being offered to you. Let me just close by reminding you that it was God who said, come, let us reason together. Not go to all these churches and to all these teachers and to all these books and figure it out. God said, come, let us reason together. It's okay to use your mind. It's okay to explore. It's okay to experience. It's okay to reason with creator. And that creator resides within you. Jesus said, you are all gods and I and the father are one. This all resides in you. Do you believe that to be true? If you believe that to be true, first of all, say, amen. True. Amen. It is true. And then what I want you to do is align yourself to fearlessness and know that if this great teacher and avatar did these things as a human that you can do these things too and if you just had the faith of a mustard seed you could say to that mountain jump into the sea and it would what a beautiful life we've been given so many possibilities, so many opportunities, so much infrastructure that we are very naturally connected to. And I'm talking about energetic and spiritual infrastructure that we're so naturally connected to. We have access to angels. We have access to healing. We have access to higher understanding. You have this access. Now go forth and get it. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for everybody who watches my videos. Please subscribe, share my videos, comment. I love to hear from you. Even those of you who are critical of me, if you're mean, I'm going to delete your comment. But otherwise, um, you can share your reservations because I will discuss it with you. But this is what I believe. This is who I say that I am. Take it or leave it. And I have got nothing but love for you. Bye, guys. Join Trisha Carr and I for the 2019 Mediumship Intensive starting this September 9th. Students of the Intensive will learn how to open their intuitive perception and fearlessly navigate the beautiful world of spirit, communicate with departed loved ones, beings of light, angels, masters, and more. Mediumship is absolutely natural and it's for everyone. Check the link in the description of this video to learn more.